Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Dennis and Houston we have a problem with this motorcycle. Let me show you. So actually here is the electrical compartment of my Nepper 16 motorcycle. As you can see it's a wonderful motorcycle with a shop drive and also the drive to the car wheel. Uh, but I had the short circuit or you may call it the shortcut so I was removing uh, the battery charge from this part this the plus and I accidentally touched with the minus so the surface the frame of the motorcycle is minus actually so here it goes the minus to this frame and I accidentally did the shortcut over here so that's basically what happened. It just welded. As you can see, we have a big hole on this part and it's welded uh, like this. Okay, so I had the shortcut. And somehow my motorcycle is still working. I don't have the voltage there. I cannot charge from external power. But you see, we have lights. We have everything and basically I can even start this motorcycle. Have the voltage of 12 volts over here. I think it's nice. I think it's still working but I need to fix it because I cannot charge the battery from external power now. And my idea is to remove the battery and check if this wire if it's okay or not because I don't have contact contact here so this is the minus, this is the plus and I don't have the voltage over here so I need to check it out and here is the battery I was able to remove it, it was quite hard to do because I have non-standard electrical scheme on this motorcycle non-standard electrical system as you can see we have the special compartment for the battery and all this system goes inside I don't really like it because I need to arrange I needed to arrange lots of bolts over here and it was quite hard thing to do and as I say to you my friends the aft top part of the cargo compartment or nipper sidecar is unable to open so here we have the welded part the top part so I'm thinking just to make a big hole like on Ural motorcycle just to make a big door it will be very very simple to do this job because here I need to I have the limited access I would say for this and here we have the circuit breakers some circuit breakers here as well here's the 12 volt, volt socket and USB charge and here we have the big circuit breakers so the problem lies with the one of those so here we have 225 amperes circuit breaker and this one failed my friends it may sound strange but this scheme is very simple what we have here is the plus wire it goes all around this circuit breakers and finally it connects to the battery with this wire but here we have one more wire it's the plus wire it goes to the battery charge for external battery charge and here we have the main circuit breaker for it it's 225 ampere and here's 100 ampere and this is 80 amperes circuit breakers what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this tester to uh, resistance and let me show you what will happen so it will show us the circuit so if I connect those things together we have the closed circle and the arrow defects and let's just test those circuit breakers the first one is 80 let me show you so everything is working fine here one the second is also working nice and the third one as you may see there is no arrow deflection it means that this circuit breaker is dead and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna replace this circuit breaker with a new one here it is the circuit breaker 225 amps as you may see so I'll just search and try to find the same one 
for replacement. So it was quite easy thing to do. And the only problem was with the removal of the battery. So it was it is quite hard to do on that motorcycle. Here I have it in internet, so just around three dollars seventy grivnas for it. I'll order two two pieces of this circuit breaker, so I'm just going to buy.